Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 EL2. Last time we did missions 580 and 593, which was brown specific, and as a reward, S rank reward for mission 593, we got the Twin Hold Battleship. So, we are going to be starting off right away with designing that, wasting no time whatsoever. Hull type battleship. And the twin hull battleship, baby. Oh, yes. Weapons. Well, uh, yeah, let's start with weapons and see what we can do here. Main guns. Uh, 61 centimeter, 75 caliber double barrels, because we still don't have our triple barrels yet. But, oh, well. Uh, let's see how wide we can make these things go. <clears throat> so, we go back and then widen out. And this will just leave us room in the middle for other stuff. Probably go like here, maybe add a little more. Yep, like this. Cool. And then let's turn. Whoops, let's turn them around, and do pretty much the exact same thing on the back. Uh, like so. So they can go like this. Then we raise them up, bring them back, widen them out, raise them up, bring them back, widen them out. There we go. Um, we will probably add more cannons, maybe. I, well, I don't know. We'll have to see how this ends up. First, though, we want our E-Tech forward bridge, since we have deck space to throw away at this point, pretty much. Um, what else? We might as well have our fancy aft bridge that has the smoke track in it just because we can. Uh, which was, I think, a Japanese one? Yes, uh, this one. Also gives us more command, which is still nice. Um, we might be moving to... Uh, see, nuclear engines are just not worth it for the weight. Still, as we found out with our other battleship. But, um, yeah. Okay, let's get uh, our armor set up here right now before we forget. Okay, we can't go that extreme. We can probably do this, though, or that. Eh, let's just run with this for now see what we got. Okay, systems. We're going to want... Our oh, there's a lot in here now. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay, hold up here. Auto reload system gamma, and our firing delay system, whatever we're on gamma, and what else? We want our highest level EM shield and our highest level gravity shield. We want our E-Tech propulsion system, which we do have one more of. Actually, we have this one down here. Steering minus one, speed increase. Oh, yes, we definitely want this here. And then what else do we got? Uh, what else did I even have? Aegis system, I think? Oh, yeah, Aegis system was the other one I had. But given this thing's already really bad turn radius, I would really like to have... See, I would really like to have this bow jet thruster on here. Um, just so we can actually, like, turn, um, at least a little bit. So we'll go with this. Um, Aegis system is nice, but it's not absolutely necessary. So we'll go like that. We'll bring some searchlights on here, as usual, just to have them, because they're handy to have equipped, like this. And weapons, okay. This is where we're going to be getting back into our usual stuff with this where I'll be probably cutting it out. Um, let me think here. Actually, before I do that, I wonder if I can... Uh, let's bring these down again. So I could do like this, raise it up one, and then turn it around, drop it down, and put one. Oh my goodness, that's like a perfect fit too. Yeah, I think that's enough guns. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's probably enough guns. <laughs> um, this is ridiculous. This is so many more cannons that I actually need, but you know what? <laughs> it's gonna be great. And I'm pretty sure that just because this game isn't that realistic, I'm pretty sure that even these, even though these ones are below and behind these guns, I think they will still be able to fire forward because the game isn't that realistic. But I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, I think they can, but even if they can't, we're gonna have one hell of a broadside. That'll be, what, nine cannons on a broadside? Well, nine turrets, 18 cannons on a broadside. Uh, it'll be it'll be amazing in any case. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me think. What else can I do before I start messing with the AA armament? Let's move our... 
Let's get our heliport put on here just because uh, it's something we always want. There we go. It's way out of the way now. Oh, engines. I should put in engines before I get too carried away with the weight issue here. Um, yeah, we're still going to stick to boilers for now. Um, nuclear engines. Until we get like the absolute last nuclear reactor, they're just not worth the weight. Uh, 17,000 output for 750 tons, or we could go 7,500 output for 200 tons, which is just so much better. So, so much better. So we're just going to go with a ton of these. Like 20, I guess? Let's try that, see how that goes. Uh, sure, right in the middle of the ship. We are pretty fast. I mean, considering how heavy this thing is, that's pretty fast. It's not going to be as fast as the other one unless we just stack boilers, which I might do, but before I get carried away with that, um, I want to make sure we have everything else that we care about on here, namely the AA armament, which I will start adding now. Oh, well, and all of our other weapons. I forgot we still have all of the other ones we still need as well. So chaff grenades first, because those are very, very important. Um, we will load up uh, some of these whoopsies and get those back uh, chaff grenades we want to turn them around like this and just put a few down the middle I suppose like this um, hmm how do I want to do this how do I want to do this uh, let's see oh I know how I can do this so we'll go like this uh, whoops there we go and then we'll do a similar kind of layout down in this slot with the illumination flares. So we'll turn them around and go here and here and there. There we go. And now we get our Azeroks, I think. Is that what I had in this slot? I think so. I know I had Azeroks, I just don't remember which slot they were in. And I forgot they were at the bottom, so I could have just... Okay, yeah. Anyways, Let's make them out here, that way width of the boilers will not be an issue that they have to compete with, so one, two, three, four, five, six, this is ridiculous, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, they're not even that heavy. Um, and instead of, since we have deck space and weight to just throw away, we might as well not use the ram missile and just go for these guys, no, not those. Um, where are they? These guys here, just go for a ridiculous amount of these, because why not? We can, so might as well. So we'll just go with a stupid amount of these guys uh, around the outsides here, like this. Yeah, we'll probably add more, but I do want to get the AA, the other AA on here, the high angles and the machine guns. Oh, I remember the other system we needed. Um... We need auto countermeasures. But what will we get rid of? Eh, we don't need gravity system, I don't think. We need our, our, our auto countermeasures, though. That's not negotiable. We need that. Auto countermeasures, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's just get that one, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's fine. I don't think the illumination flares are actually auto fire, are they? No. Okay, uh, weapons 7, machine guns. Now it's time for me to start cutting some stuff out while I figure out what I'm going to do with these. So, we'll see you guys in a second. Oh, oh, we've hit our parts limit already. Um, I didn't expect that. Well, that sucks, because I really liked what I had going with these, uh, guns here, these AA guns. I forgot there was a parts limit, and this is definitely the first time we've had to deal with the parts limit. <laughs> um... So, yeah, whoops, uh, well, we can maybe still make this look pretty cool, put a couple of those up there, and then basically I want to uh, take these and like raise them up all the way, and since we're going to do that anyways, let's just delete those and then move these like this. Alright, so we don't have as many high angle guns as I would have liked, in fact, I'm going to ditch those and get one more set of high angles on here. Uh, if I can. Let's put them somewhere where they don't look really out of place. Like, maybe back here. But let's widen these out. No, maybe not. Um, let's put them, like, here, I think. Still trying to make this look cool. I only started speaking again because we hit the parts limit. Alright, that looks uh, interesting, I guess. Um, I don't have... What kind of uh, 
Yeah, see, I don't have a weapon slot, though. If I had an extra weapon slot, I'd see what other ridiculous thing I could put on this empty space in the bow here. But, um, I don't have another weapon slot, unfortunately, so, eh, oh well. Structures, I think we're all good there. Engines, I mean, we could just keep duping engines on here, I suppose. Well, maybe not. Okay, let's, uh... Huh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and ditch these turrets, maybe? What can I get rid of that I don't need that many of? I don't need this many Azrocks. I mean, let's be realistic here. I really don't. Yeah, I don't need that many Azrocks. That's probably enough of those. Um, That gives us more space for some other stuff to be copied and pasted on here. How much faster will this go if we keep adding boilers? Not too much faster. No, not really. All right, let's get rid of one of those. Let's move this up here. Now we have exactly um, enough parts to get just a few more AA guns on board here, which I would like very much to do because we're going to want them. Um, like uh, this, I guess? Sure. Okay, there's that. I don't think aircraft count as parts that we need. Oh my god. Eight aircraft? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? That one's already being used. These guys, we could have a couple of them. Fighters. See, so I don't know. Oh, we do have those researched. Okay, interceptors. We have these researched. Okay, what do you have, though? Air to air missiles. And what do you have? You have machine guns and bombs. Well, you're not terribly high tech, but you know what? With five of them, we might, or six even, we might be able to do some good. And then our support helicopter, of course, is the AS-332L. We want two of these in Group B. There we go. All right. Let me double check those. Yep, looks good to me. Okay, armor. Uh, no, that's not going to be a thing. Systems, we're good. Structures, engine, weapons. We are good to go. We have our twin hold battleship. And a name, a name, a name. Ah, yes, I have a person we can give a name, or a name I can put on it that doesn't already have a ship. Um... Or at least I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a ship. Camargo Gamer has been leaving comments lately, so thank you, Camargo Gamer, for leaving comments. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I love feedback. I love reading comments. So we will name this ship in honor of Camargo Gamer, because I don't think he has a ship yet, and my PS2 is doing that thing again, sounds like, maybe. Okay, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to change the name to his name, and then I'll see you guys back at the dock. Okay, back at the dock here, and we have Camargo Gamer, the Twin Hull Battleship. So, huzzah! Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's... I guess we're, we're pretty much good to go here. Mission 600. Let's do it. Destroy the enemy blockade. Haha. <laughs> shall be... Shall be... Not a problem in this battleship. I was trying to come up with something witty, but... I'm dumb, so I can't come up with anything witty. All right, here we go. So how the bow jet thruster works is pretty much if we double tap left or right, it will thrust us in that direction very, very quickly. So that will allow us to actually be able to turn, because as you can see, uh, the normal turning just doesn't quite work that well. So we uh, definitely want that bow jet thruster so that we can get crates and everything else very very quickly and here go all of our insane amounts of missiles we don't actually have that many actual missiles on here to be honest but eh. like we're gonna still run out of ammo of those pretty quickly but let's find the aircraft carrier and sink it first since it's the leader of the bunch oh my goodness that is a lot of shells this is amazing uh, yeah. Missiles are already out of ammo. It doesn't really surprise me too much. I love this battleship. So, let me see here. Are those guns still firing forward? Uh, it appears that they are firing forward. So, those guns that are below and behind the actual forward-most guns are still firing. So that is really handy. Um, let's get an elimination flare up. Let's turn around. Try to, anyways, and get that full ammo. 
and now you can see why I wanted that bow jet thruster on here so badly. But if we just grab this full ammo, there we go. Now the missiles will go crazy again, and we can go back to shooting down all of these planes. Do they have a carrier in that group, or no? These are just battle carriers. Um, so no actual aircraft carriers, just battle carriers, but we will be sinking them all nonetheless. No matter what they are. Another battle carrier back there. A couple of battleships. There we go. Um, illumination flares, chaff grenades. Uh, funds crate, full ammo again, that's handy. Parts crate, repair kit, normal ammo crate. Actually, I don't need to slow down when I can just bow jet thrust like this. Now, what is this group of ships? Oh, I should check what the treasure is before I get too far into this. Um, yeah, that would have been a good thing to do beforehand, actually, because for all I know, it's a cargo plane that's already run away. 600 EL-1, underwater base, northeast center of map. Okay. I would launch our attack planes, but they would get shot down immediately. Well, I mean... They don't cost anything to refill in this game, so might as well do it anyways, right? And just see. I can also research the large heliport now that now that we have uh, we definitely have the space for it on the deck. That was the only reason I didn't before, is just because it would have taken way way too much space on the deck. But uh, now that that's not an issue, just fire these guns at the sky. There we go. Also, I know I keep saying I really want to do World of Warships live stream, and it doesn't keep happening. I know, I'm sorry, I just, I really gotta find time to do it. I really, really want to, but it's it's gotta be, you know, I gotta not have stuff going on. I was gonna do one yesterday, well, as you guys are watching this, yesterday, um, Saturday. I was gonna do one, but I ended up shoveling over a foot and a half of snow off of my sidewalks and digging out a neighbor and it still kept snowing so it's uh, if you look outside now it's almost uh, or if you were to look outside right now in front of my house it doesn't look like I did anything so I gotta do it all again tomorrow so yeah it just uh, it has not stopped snowing since Wednesday I think it, today is the well tonight let's see Saturday afternoon is about the time it finally stops snowing for the first time in a few days so um, yeah, late afternoon. I mean, because it only it only just stopped recently at the time of recording this, at least. But yeah, oh my goodness, it's been insanity. We have uh, three of our planes are still up somehow. Where's that? I don't want to get that group of battle carriers. This is, uh, I think, another group of destroyers over here, right there. Yeah. I love. These cannons and this ship already. There we go. And a Kaze, and I should have gone for the other ships as well while I was here. Are we actually going to sink that one? I didn't think so. We started moving there, so. Well, he moved again. He turned. Come on, get him. There we go. What you got? Anything good? Nah, not really. Okay, I think this down here is the battle carrier group. Where are you? There they are. Uh, where? I want to get that one. There we go, the leader. And we lost all of our planes, finally. Well, I think this has been a very successful maiden voyage for our twin hull battleship. So far. Get that battle carrier out of there. There we go. Get some of these other battleships taken care of. Chaff grenade. Gotta get the rest of these things. Flares. Is there at least one ammo crate in there? Uh, maybe that last one was. Hard to tell. Mission accomplished, but of course we're going to stick around and keep trying to sink things. Uh, okay. Nothing too fancy there. Not real worried about... Well, you know, I do have this now. So let's get the health, and then let's left rudder and get these parts. That bow jet thruster really is amazing when you don't have a ship that turns very well like this. It's 
really just awesome. Um, okay, there is an actual carrier in there. I can see it. There it is. Ryujo. Let's make sure we get him first. But also that we don't fire too many shells because they will just unrender pretty much and disappear. We've destroyed the enemy carriers. Nice. Good to know. still some planes coming from somewhere, but I guess they're just residual from the, uh, carrier. Get that destroyer, and then there's, like, a couple more ships in front of me. Oh, yeah, two more destroyers. Get some illumination flares up. And another health crate there. That's pretty cool. Let's load, or get ready to reload the missiles. There we go. Missiles reloaded. Now they will go for, uh, the planes. Our parts crate. Did I just see the recording glitch out, or am I just seeing things that aren't actually happening? I glanced over the preview window for a second, and it looked like it might have messed up, but I can't tell. It doesn't look messed up anymore, but I don't know. Oh, I hope it didn't screw up. Still got to do the uh, SpongeBob episode for the night as well. Where's this uh, group of ships at? Up oh, there they are. Now I see them. Come on, let me have you. There we are. I have you in my sights. I like the like the almost like V shape that our cannons make when we fire from this camera perspective. Really cool. Like a vulture. Uh, let's see here. It's just it's so amazing. I love it. I love this game, I love these cannons, this ship. I love everything. Um, alright. Well, I think I have an adjustment to make to the aircraft loadout. Um, I want to take off one of the fighters and put in an anti-sub helicopter into group B. So we'll have five fighters and three different helicopters in the... Uh, Group uh, B, two support helicopters and an anti-sub helicopter. That way, if there is an underwater base I need to find, I can still find it. Because uh, I don't feel like spending the time to try and find this one. And I'm pretty sure if there's a treasure on EL1, which that one supposedly is, then we probably got it in the last playthrough. Got our S rank, 271,000 funds. Super carrier. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay. Cool. Uh, cruiser forward bridge gamma, battleship aft bridge gamma, battleship forward bridge beta. Ah, Silver Swan third class. Outstanding achievement medal. Cool. Can we get three barrels on our cannons yet? Pretty please. Or the AGS guns or any other cool research. Now that we've hit a, hit a higher rank, that'd be really awesome. I'd be super happy. 615. Friend today, foe tomorrow. Vaughn in the Islands. Fifteen, or the missions that end in five, I think, are Brown or Warner. Hmm, if I remember right, we actually get a major story drop in this mission. Or we could do both, as I have long-range cannons and a really fast battleship. No, I don't think it'll be that difficult. Um, I have a twin-hulled freaking battleship now. It's pretty amazing. Bow thrusters, research complete. Um, okay. I thought I already had that, but I guess not. Okay, research real quick. Let's... Cross our fingers and hope we got some cool stuff for being a new Silver Swan rank. <gasps> ah! <laughs> we did it! We did it! It's so cheap, too. It's super cheap. Heck yeah, I'm doing that right now. We did it! We did it! Uh, nothing else cool down here, though. I've heard in a comment that we need to beat 
um, um, Brown's Path on Survival mode to unlock uh, the AGS guns here, which I would also like to do on stream, because what better way to batch record than live stream it? And I get to interact with you guys live. So we'll do that as soon as we beat Brown... Well, maybe not as soon as, but sometime after we beat Brown's Path, we'll actually go ahead and do that. But you can't do a survival run on a path that you haven't finished. So right now we could only do it on Sir Kuba's path. And I know because I checked, so... You don't have to jump to your keyboard and try to correct me. I already looked, I already, because I was going to do that. There's another live stream I was going to try to do, but we can't do the brown path yet because we haven't finished brown's path. Um, launchers, explosives, anything cool in here? Uh, why is it called heat? Oh, oh, I see. Um, high explosive mine, that sounds like fun. Uh... And the moored mines. Anti-submarine mine mooring itself at a pre-selected depth explodes upon contact with a submarine. Okay. Might as well take it. Missiles. Uh, nothing new there that I'm really too worried about. Torpedoes. No. Why does this kind of look like it leads over there? I suppose I'll start that. Just see if it does, in fact, lead over there. Get those started. Get these started. And, um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> what else is there? High tech. Magnetic, that's still going, but it's almost done. That's still going. Pretty close to done, actually, finally. Optical, still not worried about most of that. Engines, rotation, this is uh, it's going in progress still. And that's all for rotation. Power, we have a new gas turbine here, finally. Oh, 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 oh. How much? We have a lot of money. Let's go ahead and uh, do this here. Ah, see, I thought that gas turbines linked up with nuclear reactors eventually to start fusion reactors. And this is where it's really at in the super late game. These are what you want, the fusion reactors. Um, I mean, just look at... So this is what we have right now. 1,700 output, uh, 750 weight, 25,000... or seven. I'm sorry, 17,000 output, 750 weight, 25,000 output for only 1,000 tons. Like, these things are so amazing. Um, and especially the higher tier ones down here. Those are where it's at for the end game. Uh, systems, let's see. Enigma, it's still going. Well, we can finish that up and get it started now. And then, I guess, go ahead and begin that one at least. Um, what is this? Steering control system. Advanced the ship's response to rudder commands improves. Okay. Well, that, and unfortunately, that finished us off this tree as well. So... We'll start it, but I don't think I'm going to use that, because I don't want to just improve my steering when I can just straight up be able to turn on a dime, literally, with the bow jet thrusters. All right, I think that's all we'll look at in there. Um, super carrier time. Uh, we'll leave that for next time, because we're already at like 30 minutes. So I think that'll do it for this episode of... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. we got to get our barrels on here. I was looking at the ship, and I was like, something's missing. Oh, yeah. So, everyone... Write this down somewhere if you have to. You get three barreled 61 centimeter guns at Silver Swan rank three. We know now. Confirmed. Well, mostly confirmed. I mean, there's some other variables that could have happened. But it's almost certainly that we got Silver Swan rank three. And my dream is fulfilled. We have the best cannons that we could possibly hope to have. And we're overweight. Dang it. No. All right. Are we going to have to sacrifice a gun here? I think we're going to have to sacrifice a gun. Let's sacrifice one gun. Ah, see, that wasn't too bad. We can do that. Um, and let's make sure these don't look really awkward, which they kind of do. Uh, you know what? You know what? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good here. Alright, so we had to give up a turret, but it's fine. Totally fine. We still have a ridiculous amount of firepower. More so than we already did. So, that'll do it for this episode of Warship Gunner 2. I know we didn't do two missions, but we spent some time at the beginning with the, the battleship design. So, um, yeah. All right. For real this time, that'll do it for this episode of Warship Gunner 2 EL2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.